Okay, now let's uh, let's go back into the settings, and I want to talk a little bit about uh, accounts, and more specifically, email accounts. So let's get to the settings. So we'll just review a couple of ways to get there. All right, so you can find the setting apps, the setting app, um, and just click on that. So there's mine right there. Um, I can also, if I've been using it, I can do a four finger swipe up to reveal the uh, multitasking bar. And there it is sitting on the multitasking bar. Um, if you can't find it, you can always swipe all the way to the left, get the spotlight, and type in settings here to launch an app. Okay, so now we're in the settings. And we, we in, the, in the previous couple of tutorials, we were looking at uh, sort of this general category. So I want to skip down a little bit here and find the one that says mail, contacts, and calendar. Okay, so when I go there, um, this is where I can tell the iPad about um, an email account that I might have, and you can see you can tell it about mul tell the iPad about multiple email accounts. Um, so uh, when you put an account in, when you when you set up one of these accounts, like you can see, there's an add account button there at the bottom. I can just do add account. Um, your iPad says, all right, well, what kind of email are you using? And probably uh, if you have Gmail, that's a really a quick one to set up. Uh, if you're, you you want to use your iPad to do your email and you you're going to use your district email or an organization email, they'll probably will need to give you specific uh, settings for that. Um, and, most, uh, and one of the common um, Set, uh, setups and districts is they're using a Microsoft Exchange email. So they'll give you the information to put in here. Uh, and you can try. You can see this first screen is pretty easy, but pretty soon you're going to need a little bit more detailed information um, if you're setting up an Exchange um, account there. Now, uh, once you have that set up, here's why you would set that up. Okay, so um, on on our uh, iPad, there is a mail app, and I'm just going to switch back over here to the uh, the spotlight here. And if I just do a search for mail, you'll see uh, that up will come this one called Mail. Okay, so it's the built-in email application. And right now, I have two uh, emails that that are working in here. I have a Gmail account. You can see down there under Accounts. Uh, and I have an exchange account. So uh, one's from work, the exchange one is a work account, and the Gmail one is a uh, is my personal Gmail. Alright, so you can see some of the options here. So if you look at the top where it says inbox, if I click that one that says all inboxes, all of my email will be available to me here. Okay, So I can see both accounts mixed together. All right, and then of course if I click exchange, I'll just see my work email. If I click Gmail, I'll just see my personal email. Okay, so that's the inboxes. And then under accounts, um, if say inside my Microsoft Exchange email account, I've set up um, folders or tags, I can get to all those. Um, you can see in, in, in here I have a lot of folders set up and some rules for um, handling my email. One of them is that if I get an email from uh, my manager, it goes into its own, own folder so I can more easily uh, keep track of those things. And all those things are available, but you have to just, um, when you're in the mail app, kind of understand that the inboxes versus the accounts. <clears throat> so you can see because I set up, I have two accounts that are working here in my settings. You can see I have more than two, but most of them are, there's a couple of just practice ones there. You know, this one is a practice one. Whoop. You know, and you can see I've, I've deactivated those. So really, I just have two, the Exchange and the Gmail, okay, that are set up. Uh, and then I'm using the built-in mail app to answer and read those emails, okay? So um, that's if you want to you actually read and, and do your email on the iPad. Um, if you're going to be giving uh, an iPad out to a student, um, you don't necessarily need to set up an email account on that iPad. Um, it can be used just fine without that. There are some reasons why you might want to put an email account on, on the iPad that you're going to give to a student. Um, and one of the, the big deals is that if I'm having my students create something or take a picture and I want them to turn it into me, 
um, the most common way to have to, to turn that kind of uh, project in it would be to email it to me now the iPad won't uh, won't do email on its own it has to know where a mailbox is or a post office is so that it can send the email through that post office and um, that's why it needs one of these accounts set up because these accounts give your iPad access to a post office and you can see I can send um, email from this iPad from the exchange post office or from Gmail and here's an example let's say um, you have your students taking a photo so let me just pull up I'm into photos now um, let me just pull up um, a photo. So let's say I have my students, uh, for whatever reason, take this this picture, and I want them to turn it into me. Now I can see up in the upper right hand corner there's this share button. Let me just click on it, and hopefully you'll see where it is. So you can see that share button there. It says, "Okay, well, what can I do with this picture?" And I have a lot of options there. But if I'm just going to um, turn it into the the teacher, I'm going to click mail. Okay, and it's going to format a little email here for me. Um, and you can see that it has to have a from address. And in this case, um, this address that's right here, let me see if I can, well, I can't really highlight it. Um, that from address that's coming up right there is the post office that it's going to use. And you can see I clicked on it, and now I have an option. Oh, no, I really want to send this from my Gmail account. And that's why the reason it does that is because they have two accounts set up. Account set up. So now um, I could you know type in an email address and uh, and then send this on its way I'll cancel it because I don't really need to send it you can see there's the picture the image so that will not work unless there is an email account set up on your iPad so um, <clears throat> matter of fact if you try to if you choose email from the spot I just um, was in from that share button and you don't have an email account set up you'll actually see a window that looks like this that says hey you don't have an email we don't know where our post office is um, set one up now okay so um, the trouble is what email are you going to put on here for students to use uh, so different districts have different policies um, some districts who are uh, Google app districts uh, like Jordan, for instance, they are creating email addresses that are specific to each iPod, iPad. Sorry. So let's say if this iPad that I have right here was part of a classroom set, say from um, um, how about Harriman High School, they had a classroom set, um, and maybe this was iPad um, from a set that was you know the fourth set at this school, and it was iPad 20. You might they might create an email address that says you know Harriman set for iPad 20 at Harriman School or uh, Jordan uh, District dot org um, and it would be a Gmail address because they're using Google Apps and then they would put that uh, account right here by adding it okay so they had added it on and then this iPad would be able to send email um, and of course it would be anonymous so there's some issues with that as well uh, but that, if you want your students to do that kind of a project where they're going to be turning things in via email, then an account has to be set up. And some districts are saying, no, we're not going to, we're not going to allow the iPads that students have to have email associated with them, even a generic email address. Uh, so then you would have to take that into account as you're planning projects that you wanted the students to, uh, to do and possibly to turn into you. Okay, so that's a little bit about that. It might be a, a good idea to <clears throat> talk to your district if they're if they're starting to send out sets of iPads and uh, talk about making a plan for how to handle the email capabilities. All right, so let's just get back to some of the settings here that you might want to be aware of in this email section. So this fetch new data, mine is set to push. You can see there. All right, so what that means is automatically. Um, my two email accounts are going to be talking to their respective email servers and that, the emails are going to new emails are automatically going to be sent to my iPad just auto, it's automatically an update so when I go to the mail app I should have the most current um, emails that have been sent to me okay so that's what push is if I turn push off then I will um, I can tell my iPad to fetch which just means on some schedule, go check in with the server. If there's any new emails, grab them, download them to the computer. And you can see some of the options there of what I can do. Or I could just say, hey, I want to do it manually. Um, 
but I only have to worry about that if I've turned off push. I'm just going to do push and in theory those emails should automatically be delivered to me. And you can see there's a little instructions here that uh, um, uh, oh, oh, one thing with this with push, push is going to use your battery a little bit more because you're going to it's going to be constantly checking in, um, you know, with the server or the server is going to be constantly checking in with your iPad. Okay, there are some advanced settings here you can go um, and set for specific accounts. So you can say, oh, you know, for my Exchange one, that's a work one. So I'm just going to say fetch because I don't need updates every every instant updates. I might just check my email like every two hours and I'll just come in and manually um, update it to check. Okay, um, So you can sort of really fine tune that tool. All right. So one of the other things with these accounts, um, you can see there's just some, some general information here on how you want your, your uh, mail program to work. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. Um, this also will bring in your contacts. If you have contacts associated with one of those accounts, a Gmail account or a, an Exchange account, you can have it uh, those synced up to the contacts on your, on your iPad. And the calendar. So calendar is kind of a bigger deal for me. Um, there's a calendar app. Let me just uh, uh, go pull that up quick here. So you can just have a look and see, excuse me, um, can't remember where I put it, but we'll just use Spotlight to find it. Okay, so there's the calendar, right? So there's a built-in calendar. Now, if I have multiple accounts that have multiple calendars associated with them, um, I will get all those calendars um, all in one place. So some of these calendars that you're seeing here, there's a personal Google Calendar, there's a couple of work-related Google Calendars, and there's my Exchange Calendar all showing up on the same uh, on the same calendar for me to uh, be able to use all in one spot. Okay, so if calendaring is important uh, to you, then you have to set up those um, accounts. All right. All right. Let's just see if there's anything else we need to talk about in uh, in our mail, contacts, and calendars. Ah, I think that'll do it. Okay. Thanks for watching.